Hello guys, this lesson will going to explain how to use app to start AI vision games. Before this lesson, please play Tony Pie on smooth surface. In this video, take iOS user as example. Firstly, check whether to open Wi-Fi service and the GPS before trying the app. If you are Android user, load the service for the app in your phone setting for the performance of Tony Pie. Now open the app, we can find that this app interprets over Raspberry Pi products of our company. First Tony Pi in the menu, and then click the plus button to select the direct connection mode. This mode is the default mode of Tony Pi. Now follow the tips to connect. In the setting folder on your phone, choose Wi-Fi and select available network which has the first letter HW to connect. Back to the WonderPi app after connecting Wi-Fi, the app will connect the device automatically. When the robot icon appears, it means that the connection is successful. Click the robot icon to enter interface. The interface displays all AI vision games. Firstly, we click the game such as Module Control to enter the corresponding interface. We can see that the Module Control interface consists of two parts. On the left side, you can drag the icon to control the Tony Pi's movement. On the right side, the screen is the real-time image returned by the camera. Now, we make Tony Pi perform and build in action in this app. Tony Pi can also support fold and stand up function. We can click corresponding function to run it. Please know that the camera head servo has limit protection. After turning to the extreme position, Sliding the screen again will give vibration feedback. Do not continue to turn for the servo protection. If you want to take photos of current image, you can click the camera icon and then back to the main interface to track photos. Well, we are going to show you how to start games now. Let's look at auto shooting. Click auto shooting to see three building colors, which is red, green and blue in the left side. We select a specific color first. When Tony Pi recognizes the targeted color, it will kick the corresponding ball. In this video, take the red color as example. Adjust Tony Pi's angle first and then click start to shoot and select red. Next game is color recognition. Click color recognition. The default color is red. Therefore, Tony Pi will not want detect red and shake its hand when the green and blue are detected. You'd better store this game in solid color background for better performance. Okay, let's look at the performance. Tony Pi is equipped with wide-angle camera. Currently, the background has different colors so that Tony Pi can also recognize the colors. Okay, next game is Intelligent Line Following. These are three colors you can choose. Select the color and then Tony Pi will move along the specific color line. We take the black line in this video as example. You can see the image returned by the camera. Next game is color checking. Select the color and then Tony Pi's camera will check the color to move.
Next game is facial recognition. Tony Pa will look around to search a humanoid face with one meter. It will wave to grade when the face detected. <laughs> Next game is tag recognition. Please note that the maximum recognition distance is 50 centimeters. Recognize the tag to execute the corresponding actions. This is the end of the video. If you want to learn more about Tony Pine, keep watching the following video. Thank you.